In this video, we'll be going over visibility. Visibility is a very useful feature in MotorWave that enables you to specify the bar sizes where a component is visible. And this can apply to any of the components uh, as listed here under View, Components, or under the mouse tools here. So let's do an example. Let's pick the line tool here. Let's draw a trend line. We are on the 15 minute chart. Now, if we go over to the six hour chart, you will notice that you will still see the trend line, but it's not much use on a six hour chart, so it just adds clutter. So with visibility, what we can do is, is we can change the visibility for that specific component. If we select and right click, and restrict it to certain time frames or a range of time frames. So in this case, I only want to keep it for 15 minutes. So if I select 15 minute only here and then go back to that six hour chart, you won't see it. As a matter of fact, if I go to any other chart other than the 15 minute chart, you are not going to see that trend line. Now, if we go back here, let's take a look at some of the other visibility options. Now we have the current time frame, which is 15 minute only. We can include or actually restrict it to only time frames larger than 15 minutes in this case, larger than or equal to 15 minutes, less than 15 minutes, or less than or equal to 15 minutes. So for example, if I select this one, less than or equal to 15 minutes, if I go over to the 20 minute chart, it's not there. If I go to the 15 minute, it's there. Now it should be on the 10 minute chart, on the five minute chart, and any charts that are lower. So let's go back to the 15 minute chart. And let's right click on that again to bring up that menu. And this time we're going to select properties. Now from here, the trend line properties in this case, dialog window, we can select the visibility tab. Now from here we have two options that aren't available via the right click menu. One of them is, the ability to select range. So other than just having either just the 15 minute or anything greater than or less than 15 minute, we can actually select or define a range here. So for instance, if I wanted from 15 minute to one hour, I could click apply, okay. And now it should show in the one hour. As a matter of fact, it will show in anything in between 15 minutes and one hour, including the 15 minutes itself. So 20 minutes should show it, 30 minutes should show it, 45 minutes and a 15 minute. Okay, and two hour won't. Let's go back. Let's right click, go back to properties. Now under the visibility tab, we also have the option of selecting visible on current bar size only. And how that comes into effect is if you select this and then click apply and save it as defaults, save defaults. Now what happens is, let's just take this out. Let's go to, let's say the six hour. And if I draw, if I select that same tool and let's say I just draw just a line like that. Now you'll notice that I don't have to set the visibility to six hours only because what I have done is under visibility, I had selected visibility, visible on current bar size only and set that as a default. So that means moving forward, anytime I use this specific line tool, it will always just be visible on the current bar size only. And that can apply for any of these other components as well. If you only want them to be visible on the current time frame, then you just select the visible on current bar size only or the visibility tab. And then that will uh, save you that extra step of having to select specific time frames. Okay, so that's it for this video and we'll see you in the next.